Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of My Friend's Garage. My name is Chip. And my name is Bill. And today we're going to learn about how to properly smoke a cigar. So stay tuned and enjoy the ride. Alright guys, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to decide what kind of cigar you're going to smoke. Now we recommend you go out and just find the biggest and boldest cigar that you possibly can. Or go down to your local gas station and pick out anything that resembles a cigar, as long as it's not wrapped in white, like a cigarette. Smoke that! They're basically the same thing! They basically are. And cheaper. All right guys, so after you've made your cigar choice, the next thing you're gonna do is decide where you're going to smoke it. And what we recommend to do is just smoke it right in the house. Even if your wife don't like it, just say, hey, I'm not going outside there in the cold and the heat and the rain. I'm gonna smoke it right in here where it's enjoyable and relaxing. Exactly, because why not? All right, now that we've talked about cigar choice and where you're going to smoke your cigar, we're going to talk about how you can cut your cigar. Now when it comes to cutting your cigar, you need to know that there are several ways to do it. There's also several different styles of cutters. So for instance, this here is what we call a straight cut. Just basically two blades going together. This one is also a straight cut, but there's a little spring in there. It's a little bit nicer, costs more money. This here is what we call a punch. You just punch a hole in the end of the cigar, you're good to go. And one of my personal favorites, this is a V cut. And it just cuts a nice little V in that cap, so you're good to go. And then, if none of those work for you, you can just take out your old knife and just whack the end off of it. Plain as day. That's right. All right guys, so I got my straight cutter here and I'm gonna show you how to cut the end of this cigar off. Now keep in mind, it doesn't matter how much you cut off, not one bit of difference. But just remember, the more you cut off, the less time it'll take to smoke it. So if you only got a few minutes, you can cut off quite a bit and just smoke what you can. But for now, I am just gonna cut off just a little bit. You see I got it in there? Just squeeze it and boom. You are cut. Now look at that. Tell me that doesn't look good. All right, and now just a pro tip. If you want to save some money, because some cigars are pretty expensive, what you can do is just take your cigar cutter, like so, cut your cigar in half, and now you got two cigars, one for you and your friend. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> All right, guys, now that we have our cigars, it's time to light them. But there's several different ways and types of lighters that you can do it. All right, so here we've got a single flame torch, a double flame torch here, another double flame, and then a big lighter, that's a personal favorite of mine, old faithful there, didn't light that time I know. Then you got your poor man's lighter here, stripe matches. Or you can do my personal favorite, and that's if you get a scented candle, and I mean the more scented the better. You just set that on the table, you light it up, and man, it gives you extra flavors that you would never even dream of. It is quite delicious. So today we're both just going to use our torch double flame lighters to get these lit and to get this process going. Now this one cost about $35. How much does that one cost? Uh, I don't really, it came in a set, so yeah. I'm not really sure on the price. The set was like $100, came with an ashtray, um, a nice cigar cutter, that the flag one you guys seen earlier. Uh, but it was about $100 for the set, um, so probably around $30 yeah. as well. 
All right. So yeah, let's get these up light. Yeah, they work really good. So yeah. here oh, we go. Amazing. Now pay attention because this is very important. We should probably get a close-up on this, that way they can see how it works. Oh, okay. Let's do that. Okay, so now we're gonna go with this right here. This costed $5 from a gas station. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And so what you wanna do is, you wanna hold your cigar just as close to the lighter as possible. That's right, the closer the better, the better burn. Mm -hmm. You don't want to snuff out the flame though. You just want to get it really good. Be careful not to burn your fingers. That's right, look how close he is getting. Oh, that is a great job, like a pro. This is called roasting your cigar. Just get it real close there. Just, oh yeah. Now see, you want, you want a nice chair. Oh, there it is. Look at that beautiful cherry on there. Now, I personally like my cigars well done. And so, there we go. Just about like that right there. You want good cigar. All right, guys, now that our cigars are lit, it's time to smoke them. And so what you want to do to achieve maximum flavor is you're going to want to take the deepest inhale that you can and hold that for about five seconds and take an inhale about every 17 seconds. That's right, because the main goal here is you got to finish before the guy next to you. All right, you ready? I'm ready. All right, go. First off, let me say, if you're still watching this video, thank you so much for still being here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We enjoyed making the video ourselves. I know the audio wasn't that great doing it in our garage, but it was still a lot of fun. Uh, as you can tell, hopefully most everybody has figured it out. Uh, I, don't, I can't imagine anybody hadn't, but I don't think there's actually any real information about smoking cigars in this video. It's just a goof that we're doing, just something for fun. Hopefully people get to enjoy it. Coming up next, you're gonna see one of my buddies. This was gonna be a separate video where we were gonna bring him in and show him how to smoke a cigar using the steps that we did in the first video, but I just decided to kind of combine it and mesh it together uh, and, and, just, and just do it in this all, all in this one video. So hopefully you're gonna enjoy that. Stick around and uh, uh, like the video if you had fun. Thanks for watching. All right guys, welcome back to another episode of My Friend's Garage. And today is a very special episode because We've got our very special friend Joe coming in and sitting with us. Oh my god, oh my god, thanks guys. I'm, I'm the number one fan. I'm, I'm... Alright, alright. All right. Yeah, so, all right. So, okay, Joe, you come uh, with Joe, okay. I'm, I'm Andy. Andy? Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Andy. I'm Phil. Phil. It's a pleasure. <laughs> alright, we're gonna teach you how to smoke a cigar today. Are okay. you ready? Uh, yes. I guess it's time to get you started. Okay. Right, so we, we picked out a cigar for you. This okay. is hand rolled in Nicaragua. Okay. It's really delicious. One of our favorites. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna hand that to you. Oh yeah. 
I can sense his enthusiasm. Yes. So, shake it, guys. Yeah, I know. So you got a few choices here. Can I? Can I? Can I try all of them? Well, no. I don't see why not. Oh. <laughs> That is a very smokable <laughs> cigar. Okay. It's time to light it. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll clean this up. So I didn't mean I didn't mean to make. All right, here, hold on. I bought this one. I know the trick. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes they need to prime. It, it's okay. So you gotta shake it. <clears throat> want it. You wanna put it as close as you can. That's right. Oh yeah. You Basically, tip to tip, right? Yeah, you want to burn that thing like, like a well done steak. There you go. Well done. Oh, you just want to. That's burn the it. only way I eat my steak. Yeah. <clears throat> so what do you what do you do for a living, Joe? Uh, concrete. Concrete, do you? I do concrete for a living. That's sounds like a tough job. It's it's very tough. You know, sometimes uh, I, my only joy is to watch you guys on YouTube, and I'm 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 just I'm really happy that I'm I'm getting to meet you guys. You know, when I'm out there, I'm out there pouring concrete. It's, it's a tough job. It's very hot, uh, and I listen. I listen to you guys um, and watch you guys religiously, and I appreciate you guys trying to teach uh, this normal people like me how to. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. How to, how, to, uh, how to smoke a cigar and all the stuff that you guys like to do. Um, I really, I really do appreciate it. Is this, is this about? Yeah, you're good. You okay. can, you can probably start puffing it now. Yeah, remember those deep inhaling puffs? Don't forget to do it. No, every 17 seconds. You oh, gotta slow. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just really nervous. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you're, you're, you're all right, Joe. You gotta wait. Okay. All right. Big deep inhale. All right, it's been 17 seconds. You can go okay. ahead and go again. <coughs> <laughs> all right, I'm doing it right, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Joe, Joe! 17 seconds. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is it, is it supposed to peel off like this? Uh, sometimes it happens. Okay. Well, see... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when pros when pros cut it, they can do it clean every time. So you'll you'll get there soon enough. Okay. But uh, I... Guys, uh, you're doing good, Joe. I, uh, <coughs> <coughs> I feel bad. Do you feel the flavor? I, the flavor's good. <coughs> I, I lied to you. I've, I've never smoked a cigar before. <laughs> oh. This is my first time. Mm. I, I just wanted to be on your show so bad. <laughs>